स्पिरिट गाइड्स हुआ स्पिरिट गाइड्स कैन आर एंसेस्टर्स बी स्पिरिट गाइड्स एवरी थिंग दैट इज टू नो अबाउट स्पिरिट गाइड्स वेल स्पिरिट गाइड्स आर हायर बींग्स ऑफ लाइट दे वाइब्रेट एट अ हायर वेव लेंथ देन ह्यूमन बींग्स टू Every emotion, every person, every living thing has a different wavelength, and spirit guides definitely have a higher wavelength, which is why we call them higher vibrating beings of energy. They have more information about our life than we do, and therefore we seek them to get direction on how to move forward in this life. There are many type of spirit guides. Let's decode this today. Can our ancestors be our spirit guides? The answer is yes. If you've lost a loved one, your grandmother, parents or anybody in your relations or even in your friends, they could very much be your spirit guides. Why and how can we understand whether our ancestors become our spirit guides? Ancestors belong to the same soul tribe as we do and generally have a protective role towards their future generations. like you would have a protective role towards your children and your children towards their own children therefore ancestors are powerful spirit guides to have should we rely on ancestors for future information usually no why because ancestors when they move into light do not become light beings they continue to have the value system that they had when they were alive let me explain for example your grandmother has passed into the light but while she was alive she was a miser and a non risk taking person now for example you had to ask your grandmother in a mediumship session should you send your son abroad for future on further studies she may be risk averse and she may think that you don't need to do that and waste so much of money why can't we send him close up their decision making has the lens and the filter of who they were when they were alive not that it only works in a negative way it also works in a very positive way but usually it is seen that we should not ask future based questions from them because they have their point of view which they had when they were alive the second reason is that our spirit guides have a expanded view of our life rather than our ancestors they can see what decisions are going to empower us and put us on the path of our life purpose therefore spirit guides who are gods goddesses angels are better to ask future questions from but can our ancestors be our guides definitely yes The second category of guides is gods and goddesses like Lord Shiva, Lord Krishna, uh Ma Durga. They've been around, been understand them, we relate to them, we meditate and pray to them. The third set of spirit guides is angels. Angels are not so known in India, but now well they are. So it could be Archangel Michael for protection, Archangel Raphael for healing, so on and so forth. You could read any book or uh, an article about angels the other set of spirit guides are ascended masters ascended masters are gods who have taken a human avatar like baba nanak or sant kabir or sai baba they have taken a human form and have inspired mankind through their kindness and compassion so this is another category of spirit guides I will be making another video on how to get connected to your spirit guides but we have a lot of guidance available only if we know how to ask how to get connected to them and how to use their magic in our daily life I hope you found this useful